Hi guys, Penny Rose Journals, how you doing? Okay, here we are with a bag full of stuff and a little journal that I haven't showed you before. Um, this is my little journal that I took to Japan with me um, about a year ago when I went. Um, it has all my travel details in it. It's just the little notebook that I jotted down my plans in um, as they were made. Um, all my bookings are in here, my flight details, my parking, you know, and um, all that sort of stuff. And in amongst all that, I have just stapled in all the receipts and plane tickets and entry tickets and whatever I had that... Um, I collected while I was over there, basically all my little bits of paper. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is my Japan journal, if you like. Um, I don't journal as a general rule. I'm not a journaler myself. I make junk journals, but I don't write journals. So, um, this is as close as I get. So... Before I travel, every time I travel, I make one of these little books, be it big or small, um, just to keep my notes in um, as I'm planning. So, yeah, they, I jot down things about you know, where I would like to go, what I would like to see. Um, like I say, all my bookings are jotted down here, my travel insurance, just all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, and when I come home, I staple everything into it that I've collected while I was there. So if I want to, I can add extra notes or whatever. But generally, I just plug everything in here and close it up and put it on a shelf. And there it is all together um, in one spot. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the little one I did for Japan. Now, um, I decided that maybe today I would throw together the one I made for Turkey. <laughs> so I got back just recently and... This is the uh, pile of stuff that I sort of collected together while I was over there. Um, this is a much bigger book, not because I felt I needed a bigger book. I just happened to make this book for no reason and thought that'll do nicely for all my turkey trip. So this again has all my notes and whatnot. Um, here's a pile of coins. Actually, some of these are Japanese coins and some of them are Turkish coins. I just found them floating around as I was packing and unpacking so um, I've bought them all in here I'll um, pop them in with the rest of my coins actually I'll just go and grab my coin jar and pop them in there I keep all my foreign coins in a jar sometimes I use them to decorate journals um, sometimes I take them back with me if I go again so <laughs> I'll pop these ones in. This is my jar. It's an old candle jar and it just has all my old coins in it. So, yeah, there they are from all sorts of places. So, that's the coins taken care of. Now, um, basically, I just want to take all these papers and staple them into this journal um, wherever I decide that they can go. Um, there's a few maps in here. Uh, there's a few pockets as well, so I'll pop some things in the pockets rather than stapling them. But, um, yeah. Basically, we're just going to put all this stuff in this journal. So, I guess let's just get on with that. <laughs>
This is just some leftover Turkish currency that um, I've ended up bringing home with me, so I'm just going to pop that in here as well. You never know, maybe one day I'll be back, I can take it with me. <laughs> This is my visa documentation. Um, I had to get an online visa to go to Turkey, so that's that. But they can go in there as well. So, another thing. <laughs> this is actually a paper lunch bag. I'm just going to cut the side off of it here so that we've got a pocket and I'll pop it in there. So, um, this is a larger book than the one I made for Japan, so obviously it's not going to have so much hanging out of it and it's not going to look as full. So I am going to supplement this with a few things um, as I go along. Um, yeah, um, Once I've finished here and popped all these receipts in, which is basically all we've got left now, um, I'm going to take some of those Polaroids that I did um, in a previous video not the ones that I did with the um, book pages, but I'm going to take some of the old Polaroids and cut them the same, cut the um, picture out of them, and um, print out some black and whites of some cats that I saw in Turkey, because one of the things I loved about Turkey was all the cats. There's cats everywhere. <laughs> and although they technically are... Stray cats, I guess, um, they're very well cared for. It seems to be a cultural thing that um, these animals are there, so people care for them. So, yeah, there's many, many cats in Turkey, and I took many, many photos of cats. So, <laughs> um, just to honour that a bit, I'm going to pop some into this journal, and eventually I will probably do the same thing with some of my architectural pictures as well, because I like to take photos of buildings and I have quite a few of those as well so yeah I will be adding things like that um, as I go along but today basically is all about getting these receipts in here and um, yeah basically squaring it away and getting a start on this but um, yeah I will revisit it over time um, I probably won't bring it back out on camera but um, yeah you'll see what I get done today and you'll get the general gist of well, I guess how I keep my travel mementos. <laughs> Thank you. 
This was basically just uh, the box that uh, a bar of soap came in that I took to Turkey with me. This is what I used the whole time I was there. I even used it to wash my clothes. So, um, and it smells good. So <laughs> I brought it home with me. <laughs> I left the piece of soap there that was left over, but um, I brought the box home because I'm a crazy junk journaler. So I'm just going to pop this in a pocket and um, it'll make my journal smell good. <laughs> And I can't forget this piece which um, came from the place that I did my marbling course, my paper marbling class. Um, yeah, they presented me with a small gift of some papers and whatnot at the end and uh, this was the cover sheet. So yeah, I most definitely have to keep that in here as well. Okay, that's that sorted out. Um, I run off and made those fake Polaroids now of the cats and I'm just going to pop those in and we'll call that it for um, this today. Um, once I've done this, I will show you some more paper marbling that I've been doing. Um, there's a lot. I won't show you all of it. <laughs> I, did, I did over 160 book pages the other day because once I get going, I get a bit carried away and won't stop until I run out of paint so <laughs> I try not to make too much paint but anyway that's another story I'll show you those as soon as we've finished here Right, here is the paper marbling I did. Um, as you can see, I've changed my colour palette for this session. Um, I made, uh, I think, five colours, a red, a yellow, a green, a brown and black. And that is all I used in this entire 160 odd pages. I think it was 166 or thereabouts, anyway. <laughs> and I only used exclusively book pages. Um, I feel like I'm getting a better handle on mixing the paint now. Um, kind of know what I'm doing there. Um, yeah, so I basically I kept them very basic. I used a lot of cleanup pages as well, so I like the way those turn out. Um, yeah, but 
I have a bunch of this sort of color palette so I'm very very happy with them um, I really enjoyed using the book page um, as opposed to just plain white paper um, yeah definitely much more my cup of tea but you yeah, know no surprises there <laughs> Sorry. but anyway um, I can't show you them all because like I say there is like 160 odd and um, yeah it's gonna just be ridiculous so but you get the general gist of it these are basically what they all look like so um yeah they're various derivatives of what you can see here um they've only got those five colors so not necessarily all five colors either but yeah <laughs> i had a great day it was a, a really fun day of paper marbling and i will do it again soon and show you some more at the end of a video sometime so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed seeing how i deal with my travel mementos and yeah maybe it's something you could do if you happen to go places as well so <laughs> thanks for spending time with me today guys i appreciate your company as i always do and i'll see you again tomorrow bye